All right, there's some epic new footage of Across the Spider-Verse. The TV spot starts of with Miles changing into his Spider-Man suit. And we can see that he wears his clothes on his suit rather than completely taking it off, which might be a reference to Tobey Maguire's and Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man since they mostly wear their suit under their clothing. Unlike Tom Holland's Spider-Man, who needs to take off his clothes and put on the suit. It's clear that Miles is at Uncle Aaron's place, as it's the same staircase and location we've seen in the previous movie. And we get a new shot where Miles meets Margot, also known as Spider Bite, who's from Earth 22191, where virtual avatars are used frequently among people. And we've already seen Margot's virtual avatars in the trailer before. Margot seems to play a major role in the movie. While being in Miles' side of the team, she is also seen helping Miles with the machine he's inside, which might be the go home machine. As one of the international trailers revealed that he was heading there since Miles wanted to go home, but Miguel couldn't let him leave. So, he sent everyone after Miles to prevent him from going to his home dimension. The go home machine might be an alternative to the multiversal gizmo, as Miles didn't get one, or it was taken from him. This machine comprises of this mechanical spider, which is seen spinning these laser web sort of things around Miles. And when the spinning is complete, Miles might get teleported to his dimension. We also got some extended footage of the battle with Vulture, which takes place in Earth 65, Gwen's dimension, where Miguel and Jessica arrive and help Gwen. In another shot, Miguel is seen using his fangs on the Vulture, as these fangs contain paralyzing venom. Soon after the fight, Gwen's father finds out that she is Ghost Spider, and from his point of view, she is guilty of murdering Peter Parker, which she did not. This whole scenario takes place in the opening 15 minutes of the movie, which I've covered in the previous video that is in the description. And in another TV spot, we get a reveal of Spider Cat from Earth 999, and this cat just jumps and spits out a web ball on Miles. Also, he's wearing the multiversal gizmo on his tail. Then we get a glimpse of Spider Rex from Earth-66, who got his powers after a meteorite containing alien spiders hit him and switched bodies with a T-Rex as he was originally a Tyrannodon. And there's also a reference to Spider-Man Homecoming, where a spider person is seen holding the bridge using the web strands, similar to Peter Parker, where he was holding the ferry together. After that, in the next shot, we can see a white and black suited Spider-Man who definitely has to be wearing either the Future Foundation suit or the Negative Zone suit. Also, a Spider-Man with six arms was shown for a brief moment, who doesn't have his arms on the side, rather, on his back, quite reminiscent of Dr. Octavius and Iron Spider, which might indicate that these are mechanical arms. From that, we go to the international trailers, where we get new scenes of Miles versus the Spot which might take place right after or before Miles' parent-teacher conference. And, later we see the spot in Mumbatton, fighting Miles, alongside Spider-Gwen, and Pavithra Prabhakar, of Earth-50101. There's also a scene, where Miles, is on the side of a train, and Dodge is a passing by one beside it, which is a direct reference, to Spider-Man 2, where Peter, dodges the train, during the fight sequence, against Octavius. The amount of references this movie has to the previous films is mind-blowing. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.